Hello, hello. Can you all hear me? Just let me know if you can't hear me because that's not good. Okay, I think I think I'm ready to get started. So this is uh, Michael Bourne, the, the Learn CF podcast. I believe that Cold Fusion CFML is one of the best platforms for web development today. So with that said, I'm going to get started. So what I'm working on is uh, trying to update my CF Shorty uh, tool. I've been working on this URL shortener and I wanted to just update it, try to get it live and get it going. Um, yeah, I'm not hearing myself through the video. Bear with me here. Got some settings to tweak maybe. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We 
we are we going? We're still going. Yikes. Okay, this has been one big distraction, but I am I think I am back up. So whatever audio problems I thought I was having, I'm not sure if I was having them or not, or if my headphones were just being weird. But here we are. I'm Michael Bourne. Uh, this is my Learn CF live stream, and I think that Cold Fusion or CFML is one of the best platforms for web development. I'm going to take my URL shortener, and I'm going to try to clean it up a good bit. Uh, I'm going to try to transition it to a module, and um, hopefully add some visit tracking or visit counts, basically, and um, push it up to ForgeBox. So right now. I've got a blank page when I pull up my server, so I'm gonna get going. First off, I gotta switch away from HSQLDB because Lucy's copy of HSQLDB is super out of date and I'm just run into issues with the base grammar and run into issues working with um, standard SQL syntax in this really old version of HSQLDB. So. I've got to upgrade to MySQL or MariahDB. So that was kind of the first thing on my list. Um, first thing here is I'm going to put in some uh, my user and password for um, for the database in this file. And that way I'm going to use uh, commandbox.env to pull that in. But I'm going to get rid of schema connection string. Yeah, I'm just going to drop this back to just one. Yeah, just I'm just going to drop this back to just a couple of variables. So I'm going to call this shorty and db password is I don't know. So if I run source.env in uh, in here, it should load in those uh, .env variables, those environment variables. Let me try that. I can't guarantee this will work right off the dot. I just pulled this. I wrote this up based on just wrote this up based on the. Uh, Mariah DB docs on Docker. We'll give it a shot. Repository name must be lowercase. Okay. Yeah, I did something wrong. container name or the docker image name name um, shorty db let's see if that works no yeah what am I doing wrong let me try this Oh. 
There we go. I'm missing. I was missing a dash e to signify an environment variable. So uh, that's it. My fault. Let's try this. Ooh, and I forgot to run detached as well. Like the good old. Yeah, I almost forgot my shorty db name. And dash d. This will essentially run the run the container in the background. I also need to set either MySQL run root password, MySQL root password, or allow empty password. I'm going to start with just a random root password. Dash E, so a random root password equals yes. Okay, let's see if that works. Yup, okay. The Docker PS should show, ooh, Docker PS with an exclamation mark at the beginning should show that uh, container running. Cool. My shorty DB is up and running, and I should be able to hit it at this port uh, at, at localhost. So that's that's a start. Let me. Um, install command box dot env so that anytime I restart the server I get these environment variables loaded in from the dot env file and I can reference them in my uh, cold box docs quick qv data source cf shorty where's my data source config Location.cfc, where's my data source config? Where's my data source config? Okay. And what I'm missing here is a MySQL data source config. Let me see if I can pull that up. I'm sure hoping I got one on CF snippets. I don't even remember. MySQL. I don't have a MySQL data source configuration on CF snippets. Oh, that's sad. I don't see it. I do not see it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to add that <laughs> right away. So let's go to lucyadminweb.cfm. Okay, I'm going to choose my SQL here under data source create name shorty uh, name CF shorty. Yeah. Very good. Localhost 3306 username password. I'll just say X and Y. I'm going to replace those later because all I want is a struct. I'd rather put this in my code and not deal with this through the UI. Okay, it's not, it's not coming up. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna have to stop my Docker stop shorty DB. I have to forget it or or rebuild it because I'm gonna have to forget it or rebuild it because I forgot to make this port. Um, listening on the host. I forgot to to basically forward that port to the host. So I need to reinitialize my container properly so that I can actually hit mm, this port uh, on the MariahDB container from a totally different server from my from my local, from my host server. Uh, so in order to do that, what I'm missing here should be the dash P flag, just say 3306 colon 3306. 
And if that port is not reservable for some reason, I will find out very quickly. Awesome. Okay, that worked. I gotta give it a minute or two to start up, but I should be able to hit submit here. Actually, I could skip this verify connection, hit create. Uh, let me go back in and edit. So I was able to submit through because I didn't didn't let Lucy actually test the connection. So all I want here is this struct. Now let me put this in my application. .cfc save my SQL config struct. What a mess that is, huh? That's a lot there. Okay. Username, and then I'm gonna just want to use the cold box function to grab the environment variable from that. It should be something like get system env. I don't remember. I can also just do in, in Lucy I can well didn't I mention this too? I have a data I have a snippet for this. Where's my there we go. Server.system.environment.db user and db pass. That's perfect. Thank you. These are optional. I'm going to leave those blank for now. What is this? CJ bundle. I haven't seen that one before. Version 8.0.15. Hmm. These are usually also optional from what I've seen. But I'd have to test that before I can stand behind that statement. Okay. Let me actually hit cancel. I want to delete this thing because I got what I was after. Let me go back home. Key DB user does not exist. So now that I've installed my .env package, let me stop the server start the server and I should get those environment variables loaded in. We'll find out in a minute. Hmm. The DB user one works, the DB pass one does not. Oh, I use DB password. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, refresh. Cool, slash URLs. Access denied. Or user to database. See how short I bet you that database doesn't exist. This might be another thing. There's a, a way with MariahDB, there's a way to specify a startup script. So all I would need to do is um, pass in like a, a file, file name, and the Docker container would run the startup script. When I start the Docker container, um, what I might be able to do, it might be easier, is just specify MySQL database. The, the, specify this using a environment variable. So let me try this. And I'm, I'm looking at the docs here. MySQL database equals shorty. What is that? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to Docker stop shorty 
TV. I'm gonna have to run this all over again, which is fine. That's how it goes. Okay. Copy. Paste. Run. No. I'm gonna have to remove my computer. Docker RM shorty DB. And paste and run. Okay. Yeah, because you can't overwrite an existing container, so I had to remove the old one in order to spin up a new one with different uh, with a different configuration. Let me just save this. And this goes in the installation. Let's see. Install. For a vanilla app install, start up a new MySQL or MyDB instance. Box install. Ooh. Install dependencies. Okay. Hmm, what is the status of our little container here? Logs, let me expand this thing. Shorty DB. Well, it looks like it's up. for it to come up. Hmm. Yeah, so you should be listening on the 3306 port. On local, this would be local communications link failure. I wonder if it's having a login failure. Would probably give me better warning than that. Okay, it's up. And I was just saying that the table URIs does not exist. So, I believe I have migrations I wrote to create this stuff. Perfect. So I should be able to run migrate. Uh, let me just double check with migrate help, but I think I would want to run migrate create first then migrate up because I think migrate init is if you're actually configuring this for the first time but I, I'm not and then migrate create should create the migrations table for tracking migrations I think migrate up should run my migrations in order and I've only got one let me try this migrate well I can try help migrate init just to double check 
initialize your project to yes. Yeah, so I'm already done that. Migrate, create. So name the migration. No, that's not what I want. Um, migrate. Let me try help. Migrate install. Okay, that is what I want. Migrate install. Cannot load class through its string name because no definition of the class with a specified name could be found. Hmm. Okay. Verbose. Let's take a look at verbose and let's expand this window here. I mean, it's definitely an issue with the data source I have. It's saying there's no definition for the class of the specified name. Oh, there's the there's that connection string class. Yeah, I've got that. Is that a configuration? I've got that configured wrong in my smoothies inbox.json. It is inbox.json. <laughs> oh, so this is why. Okay. This is why I had those in there. So let me copy this from application.cfc. Here's my class name. And while I'm at it, server.system.environment.db class. That will that of help. I like everything to be all these secrets or configuration values anyway uh, I'll be stored in one place so that's good what's the other what's the other data that I need to set connection string and set that one too server dot system dot environment dot tb connection String. Sure. I don't know if I need these. Let me delete them and I'll find out if I need them or not. I don't think I do. DB connection string equals. I need that in quotes, don't I? I need this in quotes? I don't know. Find out, won't I? Yeah, that looks all weird. I think I want that in quotes, maybe. Uh, Start. There's got to be a better way for this uh, command box .env package to programmatically load those values into the server. Anytime you run the command, it'll run it'll load those. Okay. So I didn't need to restart the server, I just needed to run any random command. Hmm. Seems like it would be a little bit easier if you actually knew that. Or uh, if you still had a man way to manually do it. Oh well. It's going to take a minute to come up, I think. Yep. It's okay. No pointer exception. 
Well, that's fun. in it. That's dumb. I guess it's how it goes, but it's still dumb. <laughs> and do I need to restart the server to make this work? I think I do. That's that command only, okay. And then when starting a server. So I do need to restart the server to get those um, variables to load in. That's fine. Just didn't know that. Status running. Try this again. And I should need to run my migration stuff again, if this is actually working correctly. I guess we'll find out if it's working correctly. Schema, DB schema, I don't have my schema set. What does that mean? Oh. Uh, shorty. That's the one. So that's going to break. Oh, maybe not. Well, it's going to break in my migration, I guess. Let me try migrate install. Still not working. I don't know why that is. Somehow I'm not configuring CF migrations properly. And it's not this one. Command box migrations. If you load or reload the shell in a directory, so it won't, it by default, won't work unless you reload the shell. 
That seems dumb. Eric. No. I'll figure it out. Alright, migrate install. Let's see if we get a different share error this time. Okay, so at least it has the loaded proper loaded stuff here. Man oh man, I have gotta we, we gotta fix this somehow. not fine. It's not able to find my particular driver. I wonder if that's only for a newer version of my of, uh, of Lucy or something. I'm reminding myself to go create um, an issue, a ticket over here, an issue over here. I think it needs to be an Ortis Atlas. Atlassian, I don't know. Yeah. I'll create that later, I guess. But man. Now I gotta go find my SQL driver class name because this one didn't want it to work in the whatever version of uh, whatever version of Lucy is is shipped by default with command box. Now that means I'm gonna need to reload the shell again. And who knows if it even work with that other class name? Where's my ENV file? Try again. Okay. Well, that's better. Now all I gotta do is set up. Username and password. Uh, there we go. Username and password. Ta -da. to run. Okay, here we go. Wait, status start. Very quickly running out of time to get all my stuff done I wanted to get done. It's okay. I'm getting through it. I'm not used to configuring this stuff. Okay. Does it actually work? Some. Okay. 
So this driver doesn't want to work in whatever version of Lucy is running. Don't know what that would be. Of course I can find out just by looking at it. It says Lucy 533. And the other class name does not want to run in whatever version of Lucy is shipped with command box. Uh, kind of a bummer. I guess I will hard code it for now. Not happy about it. Trying to loop over a query here, and this struct is obviously just an array instead, because I'm using I switched to quick. Quick is returning data in arrays by default. So looks like I've got through the connection issues, and let's get rid of that. And uh, now I need to take care of. Just some uh, just some looping stuff, just my data changes, which really aren't many. Um, index equals equals row. So row little URL, save, requested instance not found, URL, let's try and inject something that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I've definitely got some code to clean up, so get instance URL. I think that maybe is URI, I don't know. I guess I may have changed something in the meantime too. Let me make some quick git commits because I want to make sure I don't uh, go too crazy with this. I uh, don't want to have one giant commit. So git add handlers slash migrate and box.json and application.cfc um, git commit set up yeah set up cf migrations env file yeah env secrets yeah, good enough uh, let me tweak that Okay. I 
method does not exist new, which is fine, you know. Create. Okay, so I, I'm using quick, right? Let me double check. I'm using quick. It's been a while since I picked up this project. Um, and I'm going to have to pull up the docs because I don't, I don't remember how to create a new item in quick. Uh, we got to get started. Hmm. Okay, that looks easy enough. How about set long URI? Dot save. This is not going to work. Don't I have to set the short URI too? Yeah. This is. There's a. I think there's a URL service. Maybe which one? Yeah, something should call util dot get ram string. So I, I'm assuming it's just this one. Set short URI and then the get instance oh, util dot get random string. Get random string. Or is there any other data I need? Kind of looks like it's, that's it. I wonder if that'll work. We'll use the create method. Yeah, okay. Refresh. See what happens. Variable string length doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it wants me to pass a string length to URI. Um, I don't remember what I said before. I'm going to go with eight. Eight character string. No accessible member with name loaded. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what's that about? Loaded. Pre save. Variables dot loaded. This is a weird I'm actually going to try this on a different Lucy version. I'm very curious. Start CF engine equals Lucy 
point two. Five point two point nine. Build thirty one. I don't know, I ran into an issue like this, similar to this, recently. There were a couple things I was doing wrong, but there was also... Um, I, I don't know, it almost... Sensors equals true, it almost looks like it's not picking up that... I don't know, I don't know. Something's being weird. Yeah, this class definitely doesn't work in an older version of Lucy. How dumb is that? And the old one doesn't work in the newer version of Lucy. Also throws the exact same error in 529. So there's got to be something I'm doing wrong. Where's that base? Oh, where's that base entity? So here's the exact line where it's erroring out. Something wrong. Is there something I'm supposed to call first. too far. Something's weird. I'm not seeing it. This line is arrowing out. Oh well, I guess if I figure it out, I will let you folks know the resolution. Uh, for now, it's been a more or less an hour of streaming, um, minus 15 minutes of me struggling with my headphones and whatnot. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I know it's uh, just watching me struggle here, but thank you. Have a great day.